So what we're demoing today is that we created our create in the admin team responsive uh, so uh, we can control how they appear in a way. Um, so if you look at them right now, your microphone was cut when you said, I believe, configurable or setting, setting. OK, so created a setting. Yes, so there. So OK, first of all, as you see now, that fields are um, listed with the title being on their start point. Uh, in this case, it's to the left. Uh, so if you have a, a right to left, it will be on the right. But so the labels are on the left side right now, as you can see. Um, the uh, cool thing about that is just you're, you're utilizing more of the width of the screen when the screen is large and you're reducing the scrolling if unnecessary. So if you have a smaller screen, as you can see, the labels go back on the top as what we're used to seeing. So this only comes in, um, at least based on the settings that I have, um, it, if only for larger screens. Um, so that's, uh, so if you look at all the fields here, all of them, I kind of created this content type with everything just so we can see how everything lines up properly. Um, so there's lots and lots and lots of fields here. Um, and, uh, and these are the fields and uh, similarly, we also have the parts. So we have the same thing for parts. Uh, so there's a bunch of parts in here. As you can see, they all have the label being on the left. And if you click on a bag part, you will see all these fields that I put just to demo uh, how everything appears uh, when you have a larger screen. And if you reduce your screen again, you know, nothing change. Everything is the same. Um, and so. Muted again. Well, you're not muted, but your microphone doesn't work. Now. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Okay. I'm it's bad, Bill. So, um, I was told last week that not everybody will like to see the labels on the left like this. So what we did is we made it optional, and by default, we don't. Uh, by default, nothing change unless you explicitly change it. And just to demonstrate that real quick, I can go. This is a different tenant. So on the same application, I have a, this blog one tenant. And for this tenant, I don't have that same setting set. So as you can see here, nothing change. So everything is how we're used to seeing it. Um, labels on the top, whether the screen is large or the screen is small. So nothing changed here. And so this was done so here's a setting so as you can see i created an admin theme setting and uh, under it, there are style options that i define basically classes that i want to place wherever i want to place so there's five or six settings in there that we can control um, and again they don't impact what we have today but if you choose to utilize this you can add a settings per tenant uh, and you can. So this is the settings that we see in right now where the label um, gets switched based on the width of the screen. And that's it. Any questions, comments, concerns? Can you show the code that, we, that has to change in the views to support that? Yes. Yeah, so so let's look at, uh, let's say, title part. So here's a view for the title part. So there are uh, helpers. So some classes, classes were replaced by helpers. Um, so in Orchard Core, there's few helpers that, that basically read the settings and inject the proper code. And so there is uh, this helper that has to be injected in the title. Any, any place there is a title. 
And then there's also uh, a dev. So there is a new divider that needs this helper. So basically this um, allows us to break the label away from the containing element here. Um, and uh, and then there's the input. And so the input, there is no nothing additional here, uh, really. It's just these two helpers, this one and this one. And that takes care of uh, the rendering properly. Can you link to the PR issue about that so I, people can comment on it? Oh, uh, PR. Yes, there is a PR for that. And let's see, it's right here. So here's a PR number 12627. Um, and I put the settings that we demonstrated. I put some quick views here. Um, so again, by default, you don't get this behavior. Uh, it's only when you enable the settings, which is kind of nice because it doesn't break yeah, existing code. So if someone wants the settings, they better update their views to use the helpers in order to uh, for this to work for them or for their custom code anyway. So the ask here is for me to let anyone comment on the issue if they want this feature. Knowing that it's optional, but it makes us use this new extension method on all the labels and add a div also for each label. So it's a requirement for new developers and for existing views to change that to support the feature. Yes, and I think I've, well, I've changed all the parts, uh, common parts that we use and also the view, uh, the fields. So they're all up to date with this. So anybody wants to use this, if this was merged, is that their custom views will have to update to utilize the helpers. But again, only if they decide they want to use the style settings. If they don't want to use the style settings, no, no harm, no foul. Everybody is continues on their business. So it's not a breaking change. A new, a new um, feature. We also need to follow the the new <coughs> behavior, the new styling. I'm sorry. Say that again. The new feature and the new views. We also have in our core. I mean, not custom ones, but the core feature will also have to follow the same pattern also. Which what would would my change that actually makes that happen? So it changes our core features. No, what I mean, all the new views will also have to use the label. Yes, yeah. extension methods. That's what Correct. I'm saying. We have to use like the function, the, uh, the methods, just so that way everything is, is consistent. And, you know, just the fact that it's configurable kind of makes it easier down the line instead of injecting a bunch of classes uh, manually. And then if we need to upgrade, uh, you know, we have a lot of things. So having it in a configuration, I think it makes it also easier to upgrade down the line a little bit. Anyway. Thank you. So Gabor, you talk with your friends from Lombit to see uh, they react with the, the feature. Because you write some views. Sorry, say yeah. that again. I asked Gabor to check with uh, his colleagues about that feature because they write a lot of views and they must have an opinion about that. I also know they love frameworks and. Automated oh, the good stuff. thing is that nothing is going to break for them. If they want to utilize the new feature, they just have to adhere to it. Sure, but on the other side of the thing is that you have to change your the way you write views. If you don't want to break people who use the setting. Okay. 